Joe Miami was in the vanguard of submarine capabilities. Joined the fleet in 1990. Captain Mayer's talked to you about the advanced capabilities that it had and the ship and her very able crews exploited those advanced capabilities in over a dozen deployments. The North Atlantic, the Mediterranean, the Red Sea, the Adriatic Sea, and the Persian Gulf. Every once in a while, a ship earns a waterfront reputation as a hot boat. Miami earned that reputation early and kept it going. Let me give you just a couple examples from my own experience. And I did not serve on Miami. I did not serve on a submarine that was in the same home port as Miami. Just want to give you an idea of how wide and strong her reputation was throughout her service. A few years ago, I was at an international conference in Edinburgh, Scotland. I got word that Miami had just finished some sensitive operations and was pulling in to the nearby British port of Baz Lane. Because of the significance of the report, although it was somewhat cryptic and unclassified, I convinced my boss, who was the commander of all US and Allied forces in Europe at the time, that we should get in a helicopter and fly up to Baz Lane, which we did, and received an expert top secret briefing from Captain Dennis Boyer on what was a very successful undersea warfare mission none of which details I'm going to talk to you about now. <laughs> Almost a year later, about a year later, I found myself in Serbia, this time as part of a military delegation in downtown Belgrade. After the official conference had, had ended, concluded, our driver went deliberately out of his way to detour us to a government building that had been destroyed still in complete disrepair, turned around to me, put my finger, put his finger kind of close to my chest, uncomfortably close, and said, submarine missile. He meant it to be some sort of a threat and intimidation, but I thought it was, it was just a tremendous tribute to <laughs> USS Miami. <laughs> and I can neither confirm nor deny that Captain Jim Ransom is still regarded as a war criminal. So, <laughs> 